how you, how are you feeling? Like if 100% is before any injuries at all, knee, ankle, how close to that are you? Uh, about 98%, I would say. Uh, the other 2% is probably just going to come from uh, these next couple weeks, these preseason games, and just get into the, the flow of football. But I feel good. Body feels good, and uh, I'm doing everything to stay on top of it. Play this week, Trevor? Uh, we haven't talked honestly, so I really do not know. But uh, if I, my number is called, I'll be ready. If it's not, then uh, I'll uh, do whatever it takes to help these guys get ready, these young guys get ready. So uh, either way, I'm, I'm going to be ready to go. Would you like to, given that most starters don't play in the final preseason game, would you like to play in the game before the season opener? Uh, I mean, honestly, I just want some action, man. And it doesn't matter when it comes. It could come this week, next week. I just want to be able to test it out, the ankle and stuff like that, and just have a clear head going into the season. So I'm looking forward to whatever coach has in mind, whatever these trainers have in mind. Like I said, I'm just trusting what they do and um, just doing everything I can to, that I can control. What's the competition been like with Garrett Bowles out here at training camp this year? Uh, it's been huge, man. Uh, one of the best tackles in the league, man. And I, I try to make myself one of the best rushers in the league. So um, iron is sharp. Just Iron is just sharpening iron. So it's just been fun. Uh, of course, we had the, the scuffle or whatever a couple of days ago. But, we, I mean, brothers do that. We, we get into it. And we know how to love each other up, too. So it's been fun um, just competing with him. And I, I feel like he's making me better. And I feel like I'm making him better. You grew up with brother, so you kind of enjoy not the scuffle part, but getting under his skin. Do you enjoy that part of it? Yeah, I'm a little brother too, so I, I, that was my main thing is getting under my big brother's skin, uh, no matter what I could do. So, uh, yeah, man, just like I said, that, that brotherhood, that relationship we have is um, some days we're going to be on, some days we're going to be off. But at the end of the day, we're still brothers. We're still fighting for that same goal, and that's to win the Super Bowl. So would you consider yourself a little brother to Garrett Bowles? I mean, I, I'm a year younger, so I guess. <laughs> That you know, mentally, just heading into the season, hopefully, probably you're hoping for your best season yet. I'm yeah, uh, for sure, hoping for my best season. But uh, how I prepare for that is just uh, sticking to God, sticking to my family, the, the core values that uh, mean the most to me, and um, just knowing that um, everything is taken care of. I just got to go out there and control, like I said, control what I can control, and that's um, doing the extra stuff in the weight room or doing the extra stuff after practice and um, whatever it takes to to take that next step. So, like, like I said, man, it's just. I'm ready for it, and uh, I know these, all these guys are ready for it, and we're just looking for a big year from not only just me, but from everybody. Cool. Going back to your rookie year, all that chatter about Josh Allen, should the, the Broncos have taken that? Did that ever motivate you, or does, does that ever pop in your mind? Uh, no, I really didn't care, because uh, at the end of the day, the team going to pick who they wanted to pick, and um, the Broncos wanted me, and, and I feel like we've been, it's been a good uh, a good relationship these past couple of years, man, and uh, we're make, looking to make it even better. I know they had a successful season last year in Buffalo, but now it's just our turn to have a successful season here, make it to the playoffs, and like I said, our ultimate goal, that Super Bowl. You know what it's like to come back from an ACL. Cortland's going through that process now. Do you talk with him? Maybe because this is like that final stretch yeah. that you said you had to kind of get through mentally, it seemed like, more than physically. Yeah, for sure. I, I check his pulse every every now and then just to see how he's feeling. Uh, just to, I know he's a different position than me. He's cutting a lot more than I'm cutting, and he's uh, changing direction and slow, speeding up, slowing down. So I just, you know what I'm saying, just try to take the same things I did and, and what helped me out and try to tell him everything that, that, uh, that worked for me. And sometimes it might not work, sometimes it may work. So he, I feel like he does a good job of controlling what he can and cannot do with his knee and, and all that. But he's been looking good out here, man, running fast, catching it's almost to the same Cortland form that we've seen. I feel like, like I said, those game reps and those live reps are going to get him to where he needs to be. But uh, it's going to be fun to see where, uh, where he bounced back from. And on the mend is Baron Browning, and he said he kind of leaned on you a little bit for some emotional support. Yeah. What's it like to see him back on the field now? It's huge, man. I was so happy for him yesterday, uh, even though we weren't in pads or anything. We were just running around in helmets. So it was huge to see him. There you go right there. Baron, Baron, Baron. It was huge to uh, <laughs> to see him out there, man, running around, making plays, and uh, feeling comfortable again. I asked him, how you feeling? Are you thinking about it? He's like, no, I'm not thinking about it at all. I'm just out here just moving around and getting back to his old self. So it was fun to see for sure. Reacting to how physical this run game has been, both in camp and the uh, first preseason game. Our run game? Uh, no, nah, I, I think we got Melvin and and Javante back there, and, and all the other backs and with DC and um, I man. The running game is probably, obviously one of our uh, strong suits. I feel like all those guys can can run the ball at a high level. They could get 20, 30 carries a game and, and still be able to uh, ch chunk out those big pieces of yards at the end of the game. So I feel like it's going to be fun. It's going to be real good for us to have them uh, grounding and pounding the run. And like I said, having Cortland and Judy and KJ, all those guys catching those balls in the in the past, team's not going to know what to do with us. So it's going to be fun. Bradley's a guy that's seen this offense 
kind of evolve or devolve, whatever the case may be, over the last few years. Is this at the, at the highest peak at this time of the season going in that you've ever, that you've seen it in terms of talent, things that they can do? Yeah, yeah for sure, man. Just the talent. Like the, I uh, said a couple names just a minute ago. The talent is there. Uh, all those guys, whether it be with Drew back there or Teddy back there, those guys, they, they, they're making plays. Everybody's making plays around this uh, on this offense. You got TB with the two touchdowns last week making plays. I mean, we got playmakers all over the place, man. It's just um, a, a matter of us doing the little things right and doing the um, the things that nobody else wants to do, the dirty work. And that's going to get us to that next, that next level we need to be at. And I feel like everybody has that same mindset, and uh, it's going to be fun. I think I a couple weeks ago, you knew if your agents talked to George at all about anything New contract? Have you heard? Has there been any conversations yet? Uh, like I said, man, uh, if they did, I, I'm not a part of that. I just come out here and control what I can control, and um, hopefully, I make it an easy decision by by my play. Uh, but that's my main thing is just going out there and and helping us win games. You talked about that next step up for the offense. What is it for the defense? What do you guys need to do? Uh, so I feel like we got a lot of new faces in the back end, so I just getting everybody on the same page. I feel like we're already there, but um, uh, with the reps and with the communication, I feel like we could always be better. You know what I mean? So uh, it's gonna be fun just to have all those guys on the field and uh, those DBs making our job easy, and, and me, Vaughn, and Dre, and Shelby, and Malik, we making their job easy too. So uh, just having that cohesive unit, being on the same page, and that's gonna take us to the next level. Uh, Vaughn had his little boy last night. Have you talked to him or FaceTime him at all? Uh, yeah, I got a chance to uh, he, text him uh, after after he had the kid. He sent me a picture of it and everything. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see, man. With a guy like Vaughn, you know how passionate he is and how loving he is with uh, everybody that comes in contact with him. So I can only imagine how he's going to be as a dad. So I'm really excited for that journey and, and to see him uh, grow into that, that father role.